Coming up on Around Kern County, we're weeks away from the November election, and we want to make sure you're registered to vote. We're sharing details about important resources to make sure your voice is heard. And the Kern County Library wants our communities to join in on the fun. We're giving you a look at their upcoming open house events when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. We're about a month away from the November 5th, 2024 election, and we want to make sure you're prepared to cast your vote. In California, the deadline to register to vote is 15 days before Election Day, which means your registration must be postmarked or submitted electronically no later than October 21st. If you're qualified to register to vote, you can do so online or pick up a form in person at any local fire station, U.S. Post Office, Public Library, DMV Office, or Kern County Elections Division located at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield. You can also call 661-868-3590 or 1-800-452-VOTE to request a registration form be sent to you in the mail. To get started and to learn more, please visit kernvote.com. The Kern County Sheriff's Office wants you to join their team. They're holding a series of detentions deputy recruitment events throughout the month of October. A detentions deputy plays a vital role in protecting our community's public safety by working to keep our jails secure. Visit the following events to get started on this fulfilling career path. You can go to the Ridgecrest Library on October 10th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. with on-site testing beginning at noon. You can also visit the Kerr-McGee Center on October 24th from 9 a.m. to noon for the Ridgecrest Job Fest. You can also head to the Cerro Coso Community College also on October 24th with the time to be determined. You can also go to the Kerr-McGee Center on October 25th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. and America's Job Center on October 30th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. with testing beginning at 10 a.m. Learn more about these upcoming recruitment events and get started on your application today by visiting kcsojobs.org. The Kern County Library is opening its doors in Mojave, McFarland, and Lamont with their upcoming open house events. These branch locations have recently expanded their services, and the library wants to make sure each community gets to know the exciting resources in their own backyard. These fun-filled days will help families get to know the programs and resources at each branch location, be a perfect chance to meet your neighbors, and enjoy some yummy snacks. The Mojave Branch Library open house was held earlier this week, but you can still catch the McFarland Branch Library open house that will take place on Thursday, October 10th from 3 to 6 p.m. And the Lamont Branch Library open house will take place on Thursday, October 17th from 3 to 6 p.m. To learn more about these exciting events, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. With the change in seasons, we're celebrating our departments for heading out and connecting with our community. Anna Marie Odo has more. Fall is in the air, which means the Kern County Fair has come and gone and completed their 108th year in the making. Several county departments took advantage of the change in seasons to spend time with residents outdoors. From passing out important information about local resources to providing education about their services, our workforce says the fair is a great way to connect with the community. We'd like to give a big shout out to Public Works, the District Attorney's Office, the Sheriff's Office, Aging and Adult Services, Public Health, and many more. You can learn more about these departments and their vital services by visiting our website, kerncounty.com. And we're giving a big congratulations to our local farmers. It's official, Kern County ranks number one in agricultural production in California again. Kern County's 2023 crop report tops the charts at more than $8.6 billion, with the top commodities being grapes, oranges, almonds, and milk. One in five jobs in Kern County is tied to ag, 
with more than 60,000 people locally employed by this industry. We're so proud of the hardworking people who dedicate their lives to feeding the world. Our farmers are truly innovators and we are so thankful for what they do. And we're ending today with a special celebration. Today is around Kern County's 100th episode. We launched this newscast back in 2021 and turned a conference room into a mini TV studio that has been the epicenter of Kern County storytelling for the last three years. We'd like to thank all of you for sharing your hearts with us and allowing us the opportunity to highlight your departments. I would also like to thank the outstanding team who makes this show possible. Tim Meyer, Tom Turner, Gabe Pena, and Anna Marie Odo. Here's to 100 more. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. And don't forget to follow us on social media or download the MyKern app in the App Store or Google Play. We'll see you next time.